be a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of their excitement and expectation. This is, of course, the Camp Nou, one of the best known, perhaps the best known of all the venues in European football. It is our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link-up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. The action has already started. To Corey! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Everton just served up a reminder of how good they can be on the break. Their method is clear. And it's played forward. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Keeper's got good distance on that. Ducouré tries to get it forward quickly. He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Ah, oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. Bamford receives it in a wide position. Bamford! Oh, good interception. Click. Keane does well to read it and intercepts. Everton have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Bamford. Bamford spreads it towards the left. Chip through. And out to safety. There will be a throw-in. Harrison. Bamford. No goals as yet. Hit into the middle. That intervention was very necessary. Defenders on the back foot. Richarlison goes on a charge down the left. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. And there is the half-time whistle. And both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. No balls at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. No score in the first half, who's ready to go for it now? Alioski. Harrison. Klich. Alan plays it out to the wing. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Phillips. towards the hour mark and still no goals Harrison just about up to the hour now 
Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with... And a header! the direction he needed. Everton can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Klich. Plays it out to the flank. Played into space out wide. Calvert Lewin pushes to get on the end of it. Richarlison. It will be. Richarlison. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Gets it back. Leeds showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Out to the left it goes, dangerous looking ball, and it's come to nothing. Everton are making a change now. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Forward it goes. Away from immediate danger. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one lap. And that's it. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. Little cutting edge at either end, and it finishes nil-nil. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Leeds can take a lot from this. They were expected to be well beaten, but determination produced a very fair result. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.